Okay. Hey guys. Hope everybody's doing well. Okay. Wanted to come in and discuss quickly. I, I actually just came from the shooting range. I just came from the shooting range. This is my membership badge. I'm a member of uh, Green Top Shooting Range here. Anyway, just got back from the shooting range and it, and it dawned on me that um, I was, well, I was the only black woman in the shooting range. Um, I saw other uh, a couple of other ladies in the shooting range um, and they were, you know, white women, which I think women of any color, regardless of your nationality, color, whatever, you should know how to protect yourself. So that's not my issue. But my issue was I was the only black woman in the shooting range. I, and when I go, <laughs> I rarely see anybody that looks like me. I rarely see anyone who looks like me at the shooting range that I go to. Um, every once in a while, I do see some ladies come in that look like me. Um, and I'm like, you know, I'm very, I'm very, very proud that they're there. Um, however, it's, it's a very small minority of women um, that come in. So I was thinking, why don't I ask you ladies, um, what is your feeling or apprehension about protecting yourself? Um, I know that that's a touchy topic for some, um, and I can understand why, because I was very apprehensive at one time about um, anything related to guns, anything related to uh, talking about them, looking at them, anything like that, until my son, who um, who is a registered gun owner, um, would always talk to me about protecting myself. And he's like, Mom, you really need to protect yourself. You know, you need to learn how to use a gun because, you know, you're a business owner, you know, you're a young lady, you're out, you're by yourself a lot, and people are crazy. And I had a few situations that kind of uh, woke me up to the fact that, you know, my husband's not with me all the time. You know, I am, unfortunately, a target because I... I may seem to some some others as the weaker the weaker sex and my space can be violated a lot and i noticed that happening um unfortunately quite a few times and um it opened my eyes to the fact that i need to learn how to protect myself and protect my my personal space so i took a class um you know after talking to my son more and more because my son was in my ear for a long time and I said, okay, you know, let me let me look into this. So he would bring his guns over, and he would say, Mom, just hold it. Right? They would be unloaded. They would be clear. They would be, you know, safe. And I would like, boy, put that thing away, you know, put it, put that thing away. But, you know, I started to, you know, after the incidents happened, I started to open up and be a little more open to it. And I went ahead and took a... Uh, safety class. So I started off taking a safety class. I am licensed. I am licensed to conceal carry. Um, I know how to use a gun. I own a few guns. So, you know, that's fast forward to now. So I was coming, like I said, I was coming back from the gun range today and I thought about it. I was like, damn, I, I wonder if um, a lot of ladies, I know a lot of my clients and stuff that come around, you know, they don't think about, they don't think about that you know I, I i ask them and they're curious but they, they they're scared you know and um i just wanted to say you shouldn't be scared you know um educate yourself like you would educate yourself on anything else educate yourself on you know gun safety if you know if that's your choice or stun gun or whatever whatever you want to do to protect yourself in your personal space um you know, I do have like I have a license to carry. You know, I have insurance. I have all the all the things that I'm supposed to have legally. I have. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to come on real quick and say, you know, ladies, think about think about your personal protection. Um, there's a lot happening today, and we need to actually think about how we protect ourselves when we're along. Because unfortunately, you're not going to always be with someone to protect you. You got to learn how to protect you. Okay. So, um, my personal, I, I, you know, I, I do carry. So, 
I just came from the gun range, so here's my, my gun bag. And maybe I'll do a video if y'all want a video on what's in my gun bag. All right. So, and maybe I'll do some videos on how to properly clean your gun and a uh, proper way to hold it, etc. But uh, here's my baby. This is my baby. It's a Smith & Wesson 9mm 2.0. Um, I have the uh, laser on it. So, anyway, it's not loaded. It's clear. It's clear. See? Clear. No mag. No clip. No mag. Not a clip. Rifles have clips. So, this is my, um, one of my carry-ons, okay? This one is my favorite for right now. But this is one of my carry-ons. Um, and that's the one that I was shooting today. But, yeah, just was, I was just thinking about it. I was like, you know what? What is it? Uh, what? <laughs> Y'all see what's going on in the world. What's going on with us not wanting to protect ourselves? We got the right to protect ourselves. So just get at some thought, ladies. I'm not going to stay on here very long. Um, like I said, I just, I, I was the only one in there, you know, and I was like, everybody knows me at the range because, you know, I'm, you know, I'm the black girl. So... You know they're very friendly and uh, i love my my family at green top they're great people you know but i just don't see a lot of, me, of girls that look like me up there and i was just wondering why why you know so if you guys want to share with me your reasons why your apprehension you know i'm not trying to force it on anybody i just i'm just curious you know i'm just curious about it and um i shot right many rounds today i shot about this is a hundred round box I shot, I think I had at least 60 rounds left in this box. So, let me show y'all what I did. So, I'm going back. This is, these are the last one. I'm going to take this. I'm not finished with this one. But, yeah, so, that's the bullseye there. As you can see, and I was doing this from 15 feet. So, that ain't too bad for a girl to wear glasses. Ain't too bad. And this one is, is about, I did about, uh, I don't know. I think I had about 40 rounds in this one. But anyway. Like I said, you know, I, it was just. It just it was like a light bulb went off. Like, where, where the ladies at? Where my girls at? I'm on the wrong night, the right, wrong day, wrong time. But I'm going back. And maybe um, one of the times I go back, I'll see some of you ladies at the range. All right. So let me know, guys, if y'all want to know more about my experiences as to um, me being a register gun owner and um, oh I gotta take there's a story about the, me being a registered gun owner and me having a gun and sneaking and learning how to use it and my husband ain't know because he, he ain't want me to get one but you see I got it so yeah same that. that was the whole story too but um yeah so just uh comment below let me know what you think about you know, women protecting themselves and learning how to, to use your know, firearms safely. Um, because, you know, if you know how to use it safely, the fear goes away. And one thing I can say is that ever since I've been a licensed, um, licensed gun owner, I have been more, the most calm I've ever been in my life. I am calm. It's like nothing can really rattle me anymore. I mean, because I think about the responsibility of having something like this. You have to be a responsible person to have that. that that's a lot of power. Okay, so you have to remember, you have a lot of power on you. And what are you going to do with that power? You don't abuse it, right? No, don't abuse it. So it takes, you got to get your mindset right too, okay? Um, it takes a mature person with a mature mindset, very controlled, to be a gun owner. Um, you know, you don't, you don't get a gun to, to be out here, you know, gallivanting with it. That's not that's not what you do. Not at all. It's for self-protection. It's not to flaunt. It's not to uh, harass. It's not to intimidate. None of those things. It's to protect. So anyway, I'll see you guys on the next video. Let me know below what your thoughts are. If you have any questions. Um, if you want to know more about my experiences. If you want to see me at the gun range. Maybe I can get some out to record. Um, yeah, so I talk to you on the next one.
Have a good one and don't forget to subscribe and share. Okay. All right. Bye. Oh, and like the video. Thank you.